A Delaware man who was captured on video drawing a gun from his holster and allegedly pointing it at a group of protesters has been indicted on two felony counts. That's according to Delaware's Department of Justice tonight. Walter Perez is live in the Satellite Center with the latest on the case against 60-year-old Michael Hastings. Walter. That's right, Rick. We spoke with Hastings on the phone, and he says the accusation that he pointed that gun at anyone is simply false. But the people on the other side at the time tell a different story. This is video of the incident taken by a supporter of Senator Chris Coons, who is protesting a gathering in support of Coons' opponent, Republican nominee Lauren Witzke. Christina Kelly says it happened about two weeks ago as she was on Facebook Live. So I called attention to the rest of the people on my side, like, hey, guys, you know, they're just throwing this gun around over here. That's when Kelly says the man with the gun pointed the firearm in their direction. After Witzke was made aware of the video, she released a statement reading in part, firearms should only ever be used to defend life and property. I denounce this behavior completely and will support law enforcement as they work to resolve the situation. Meanwhile, we also spoke on the phone with the man seen in the video with the gun. Mike Hastings from Dover says he was not pointing his gun at anyone. He tells Action News, quote, I was pointing the gun at the ground, demonstrating a paratrooper taking enemy fire at the request of someone who asked. I deny any wrongdoing or criminal activity. Regardless, a Newcastle grand jury has since indicted the 60-year-old Hastings on felony counts of reckless endangerment and possession of a firearm during a felony. Keandra McDole, who was there with Kelly, says that while it's okay to have opposing opinions, there's no reason to put others at risk. But we're peaceful, you know, we're out there to get to get our um, voices out there and we're out there to demand what it is that we're out there to demand for. To have guns at a protest is like, it's uncalled for. Now, if Hastings is convicted, he will face mandatory jail time. Reporting live from the Satellite Center, Walter Perez, Channel 6, Action News. Shari? All right, Walter, thank you.